All right, in this video, I am going to make a damaged graphical user interface, or GUI, for my gun, so that when I shoot things, I can see how many, how many points of damage I did. <laughs> Boom, there's 12. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna shoot this guy over here. <laughs> Boom, three. And I made it scale with the distance, so I'll show you how to change that if you don't like it. Let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I have a fresh world right here, and I need a gun. So let's go to our web browser. I'll put this link in the description. You can click on it and you can get this simple gun that I made in two videos back. You could use the one with the animation. This one doesn't have it, but the animation won't mess you up at all. So let's go and this will be green. You can go ahead and press that and then you will have this in your toolbox. So if we go to Robox, Toolbox, under Inventory, you'll see my simple gun. If you did another video where you got the gun, you'll already have it. So let's just drag this into the world. Yep, two scripts. You could watch the video on that if you want to know how I did those two scripts. And we're going to be we're going to be working in one of those scripts. We're going to be working on the on the server side script. Cool. So we got a gun, and I'm also going to go to plugins right here, this tab, and then get a a rig so I could build my little GUI, my little graphical user interface. Hey, I see. Where'd he go? There he is. And you can do R15 or R6. We're just going to use this head. So open up the dummy. And then down here under head, hit that plus sign. And then do a BI for billboard GUI. Cool beans. And then billboard GUI. I'm going to change that. You can call it like point GUI or damage GUI. I'll call it point GUI because I might want to use that for like healing potions and stuff too. All right, I'll make it general. All right, so that's pretty big. We can change the size of that. Let's go down here, size. Now this is how you either make it scale with distance or not. It's gonna be opposite to what you might think. If you do the pixels, then it's going to remain the same size of pixels however far away it is, which means that it's gonna look bigger in comparison to the target. So I like that because I want to be able to see things far away. I want to be able to see the numbers. I'm going to go zero and then maybe, I don't know, 30, 25. 25 pixels is actually pretty big. Zero, 25. Now it's tiny. It's inside his head. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's go to uh, studs offset and we'll change the Y value to like 1.2 maybe. There you go. So that's where it's going to start. Let's go ahead and add some text to that. So go to your point GUI, hit the plus, hit a T for text label, and now you got a text label in there. Let's change that text label. It's huge, so we're going to change the size. I'm going to call that point LBL for point label. All right, now that size, I'm going to make it relative to the point GUI, the billboard GUI. So I'm going to go my size here. I'm going to say 1, which is 100% scale on the X, comma, 0 pixel offset on the X, 1, comma, 0 for the Y values. So it's going to be 100% of the X and the Y of the parent object, which is the point GUI. All right, that's a mouthful. Where are we at? We need to change some more stuff. I'm going to scroll up a little bit here and look under background transparency for the point label. I'm going to make a 1 because I just want to see the number. I don't want to see the, the, little, the little text label itself. Let's see what else we got. I'm going to scroll down, change the font to like bangers. It's my favorite. And then text, we're going to change that with code. But let's just go ahead and put like a negative 10 in here or something. Just so we have an idea about how big that number is going to be. And I'll make it like red because it's damage. Right, there we go, red. And then maybe if you do it the other way, you do it with green. But we're not gonna do that in this video. You can change it with code though. So text size, we could do text scaled if you want, or we could just set the size, maybe 20. That's pretty big. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller, maybe like 16. Yeah, that's not bad. You'll, you'll have to play around with it, see what you like. On text stroke transparency, I want to get a little outline around that. Uh, default is black. So if I make that zero, you get a little outline. I think I might make this 
I may make that a little bigger, but let's try it out. I don't want to get wrapped up into formatting and stuff. But I think we're almost done. The only thing we got to watch on our point GUI, we have to disable it. There it is. Enabled equals unchecked. Otherwise, when we put it on our gun and we enter the world, you're going to get a little point GUI right here in the center. That's going to be kind of funny. So if you get that, you know, you just have to disable or hit enable to not true. So I'm going to get my point GUI from the guy, from my little, my little person. I'm going to put it on my pistol. Where's my pistol? It's all the way up here. There's a pistol. Cool. Now I'm going to get the pistol. I'm going to put it in my starter pack so I don't have to look for it. Let's go down to starter pack. Cool. And that way when I enter the game, it's going to be uh, in my backpack. All right. And I also have to change the script. Can't just put the GUI on there. We got to put some code in. Let's open the damage script. So whether you have animations or not, it's not going to make any difference because we're just doing stuff in the on the server script. All right. So here's our point GUI. Let's get a reference to that. To that. So I'll say, I don't know. We'll call this damage GUI for a variable. And then I'll say script dot parent. There we go. Wait for child. Now this has to match whatever you called it in here. So point GUI. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? Let's get um let's change our damage stuff too. Because we always have it at 20 points. It's gonna be boring when we start seeing the numbers. So let's get a random number generator by doing rnd. That's my variable for my random number object. Random dot new. And then we could put a we could put a seed value in here. I think it'll be fine like this though. All right, so now down here, what else do we need? We got some random number generation. Oh, we need our tween stuff. So I'll do TS for tween service. Oh my gosh. I'm losing it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So game get service tween service. And then with the tween service, we're gonna need tween info at least for the amount of time the tween plays. So I'll say tween info dot new one, one second. That's how long we're gonna play the animation with the little billboard GUIs floating up. That's what I'm using that tween service for. All right, so we will need a function and I'm gonna call that function call, I'm gonna call it display damage Hume, and let's call this damage amount. We don't want to have too many things called the same thing. We have damage up here, right? All right. So in there, we need to get the head of whoever we're damaging. So we have a humanoid. We get the head from the humanoid. So if we have a humanoid, the parent will be the character, which means the child will have a head. Well, probably, right? So we better do a find first child head all right let's check to see if the head exists if head and hume right and we don't we want to make sure he didn't die hume dot health is greater than zero we don't want to show points uh damage points on something dead right because there won't be any they're dead so once we, we establish the health that there is some we're, we're going to make this little local GUI variable. We have our damage GUI, but that's the original. That's a reference to the original. We will do a clone so we don't mess up the original. And then we'll get the GUI parent. We need to parent it something in the workspace. Parent it to the head. GUI Adorne so that we can position it over the head. The Adorne is what the, the billboard GUI is attached to right? For positioning. And then we need to enable it. Enabled equals true. What else? We need to change the point labels text, right? The point labels text will be damage amount. And then you can put the, you can put the plus or minus because that's just going to give you a number, but that's okay. It's going to be a red number. So it'll be assumed of if it's if it's damaged or not, but you can always put that negative there. Let's make a tween from our tween service. We'll create it, create the tween. It's an animation. 
on the GUI using the tween info, which is the time. And then we're going to use this studs offset. Remember, we changed that. Studs offset. We're going to get the old GUI studs offsets value. And then we will add vector 3 dot new 0, 5, and 0. Let's put this on another line so we can see it right like that. Get rid of that IntelliSense. It's a little bit hard to see. There we go. Studs offset. All right, so this is the goal position. So what we're doing is we're getting our GUI. We set that at 1.2 studs above the character's head so we could just see it. And then the goal position at the end of a second is going to be the start position plus five studs on the Y using a vector three. The middle value is a Y, right? That's pretty cool. And then we will play the tween. It is not sufficient just to create it. You have to play it. A lot of people forget that, including me. And then once the tween plays, we will wait for the completed event, freeze the code here, and then I'm going to get my GUI and I'm going to destroy it. Cool. That's great and all. Where do we play this? Let's do this. Let's copy this. And then whenever we damage somebody, we knew we hit him, right? We're going to put that here. And then we need to change this too, right? That's the 20 amount. So right above that, I'm going to say local, I'll call this cur damage, right? Because damage already has a value. We'll say cur damage, random, do a next integer, else you're going to get this big, long uh, decimal number. We'll say between two and what that damage was up at up on the top. That was like a 20, all right? So then we're going to copy that current damage and pass them into these two methods or these two functions. This is actually a method. Take damage and display damage. And we're good to go. We got it. Let's try it. Boom. Play. Oh, we have nothing to shoot. Oh, yeah, we do. We have our, we have our dummy. Let's try it. And then let's, let's look for errors. Hit the view, output. All right, what do we got? Boom. Cool. And notice if we miss him, there's no GUI, right? He has to have a humanoid. The humanoid health has to be greater than zero. Now watch. Boom, nothing. He's dead. Cool beans. All right, so good luck with that. I will see you in the next video.